All right, YouTube modelers. Today we'll be starting the AMT Ecto 1A Ghostbusters, the uh, Cadillac Meteor body, ambulance body um, vehicle. So let's take a look at what's inside. Uh, this should open easily. Looks like a cool kit. It's got a lot of accessories on top. Okay, so let's take a look. I did purchase this as an open box kit. First thing I noticed is look at that big body. I also just realized this too because the hood is closed. It's kind of like a curbside kit, and I use that term because um, there's no engine. But look at that body, it's so big and beautiful. You could probably um, build like a hearse, or maybe like a UFO hunter as well. Interior tub, very nice. I also pulled my spare parts from that NYPD van because remember you can build it as a fire truck van and also an ambulance so I might use some of the parts in that kit to stick in the interior of this one. So let's take a look at some of the imprints. Focus 1989 Columbia Pictures for the copyright. See, bottom of the engine is molded in, so you have to do a little bit of detail highlighting. So as far as detail goes in the chassis, it's not really that great. Everything's molded into one, but I'll do my best. Highlight it, deceive, deceive the eye by painting it different colors as if it was different parts. Uh, let's see what else is. Oh, seller wrapped it in. A napkin so it wouldn't get scratched. Wow, look at that. Clear lens. Try not to get it scratched. Oh, wow, I never seen it like this. It's all one piece, but the tree is molded in the inside around the glass. So I won't be able to... Um, Maybe leave a window down because it's all one big piece that goes around the whole body. And it's a big body. Look at this. Look how long it is. Wow. It's really long. Love the skirts. Defend the skirts. Wow, so it's one piece. Okay. What else we got? The red lights. Looks very nice. The tires. I heard the real life car uh, for the Ghostbusters. It's so heavy, the ambulance body, and with all those accessories, it actually really strains the suspension. Wow, look at those round dials. Either side of the main dash. Focus. All right, it's not focusing, so I'll have to try a little trick. Steering wheel. That looks like the tool tray for the interior. Some panels probably for on top. Oh, the fins. The fins. What else we got? It looks like maybe the frame structure for the top, top of the roof. Think of all that weight on above the center of gravity. All that weight on top of the car. Looks like more instrumentation, oxygen tanks, or f laser. F okay, just looks like an equipment. A lot of equipment. 
shouldn't be that hard because there's no engine. So everything's going to be the accessories. Take a look at the chrome. I didn't pull it out yet. It's still in the factory seal. So this one has like moon, moon hubcaps. Wow, look at that Cadillac front, that grill. That's gonna be great to black wash. It's really gonna come out beautiful. It looks like more part of the tray or something. Hmm, I think that's the chrome trim, maybe around the windows, maybe? I don't know. Didn't look at the directions yet. That's the rear, beautiful. Black wash inside. It's like rocket, the rocket fins with like the turbine exhaust, the jets, because during that time period that's what they did. Okay, so let's take a look at the directions, instructions, I mean. Yes, the decals. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. We believe you. New York license plates, really nice. I guess it has like an LED screen and those are the signs, the message for it. Let's take a look at the instruction sheet. It has yellow due to age or from moisture. I like how the instruction sheet has, what is it? Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd. This is a very large sheet, so it's good for someone like me. I can read it. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like modern day kits, the part numbers, they make them so small, I can't even read it. So, let's look at the interior. The equipment rack on top. I need to familiarize myself with the colors. So when I separate the parts, I can put them on my disposable chopsticks and spray paint them. Equipment rack top of the car body I probably will be building it straight out of the box no um, custom ones if I had two or three of these kits I would probably build one as like a hearse or maybe one as a UFO hunter so this is the car body and then this is the decal placement okay so I'm gonna decrease the parts and start spraying You can't park that here! Everybody can relax, I found the car. Need some suspension work, and shocks, and uh, brakes, brake pads, lining, steering box, transmission, rear end. How much? Only 4,800. Maybe new rings, also mufflers, a little wiring. So, I'm at the point where everything's already painted and detailed. And this is the part that I enjoy where it's just going to be a straight glue and assembly. Spent like a day just painting everything, instrument panels, details, lenses, black wash. So this is the part I enjoy where it's just pure gluing. All right, still have to um, highlight the body. So I want to show you guys my patio. It's not too big, but it is outside ventilation. Got my bicycle, my chair, the extent of my gardening, a little uh, garden box. And then this is my spray boot, which I basically made out of um, 12 pack of sodas. I just flatten it out. These posts are removable so that I can remove it and fold it up. But right now I need it sticking up, stiff. So my rudimentary um, Spartan engineering, now it's upright. I just be careful to breathe and then I start spraying. Some of the shoe box, I mean large boxes I have, I actually uh, cut holes in the back. And I put the paper towel in the back and I have a fan sucking the vapors out. But I no longer do that because it's a pain to um, bring the cable 
electrical cable from inside. Leave the door ajar and then have the fan blowing. So now um, I just spray it without the fan. I just have to be careful. I don't spray too much so the fumes don't blow back toward me. So I have to pull apart from the NYPD van I assembled. So I think it was Vic from Vic's Miniature that asked the question about what everyone does with their spare parts. So some people categorize them by the part, like all the uh, wheels and tires in one bag. I put them all into this. I separate them by the kit they came in. So these are all the spare parts just for the NYPD police van. And I know that there was a stretcher in here because there was a ambulance option. So here are the spare parts. I put them in plastic. I don't lose them. Here's a stretcher and here's the instruction sheet on how to assemble the stretcher. So that's how I categorize them. And then I put this plastic bag in the box dedicated just for cars. And then the same would happen for kits just for airplanes or just for trucks. So I pulled the parts that I needed which is the stretcher or gurney, Those, that's the wheel, the cross brace for the frame, and the top. So all the other pieces are going back into the one major bag that belonged to the police van. So it's the loose parts, the chrome pieces, like the mag wheels, oxygen tanks, and the clear lenses. So they are separately packaged, but they all belong to the same model, so they will be going into this one big bag, which I'll seal um, until the next time I need spare parts. Most of the sub-assemblies are done, so let's take a look at it. I was able to put the stretcher together, put that in the back. It hides a little bit of the control panels, but should be good. Got some old technology in there, that old CRT screen with the thick glass that makes it weigh 100 pounds, the old brick cell phone, the white CB radio, white dry brush the uh, speedometer as best as I could. So. That's what the interior looks like. The seat patch pattern. That gurney really fills up the back or else it would just be an empty space. Okay, so then of course the equipment or tool on the top. Detail as best I could lattice black frame simple one piece chassis I use testers rust to simulate dirt and its fair condition and the body I still have to touch up a little bit And then the other parts, like the extra light bar, some equipment, some chrome that will go on top, the signs, the LE, LCD signs, LED signs, and of course this big piece of glass. So I'll piece it together so you guys can see what it looks like before I put the decals on in case you want to uh, see what it looks like if you want to build it other than the Ghostbusters. All right, so I haven't glued everything down yet, but I just kind of pieced it together so you guys can see what it looks like if you want to build it other than the Ecto-1. So you can build it as an ambulance, I mean with the white body, with the red cross or the ambulance decals on it, or you can build it as a funeral hearse, or even though it's not the same year, but maybe um, the um, gray primer graffiti filled car in the Warriors, remember, at the end, 
that one gang that had the car and everyone else had to take the subway. Um, but I mean, it's a beautiful looking body. I don't know of any other company that actually makes this 59 Cadillac Meteor ambulance body. I'm glad I put the stretcher in. You can see it inside among all the equipment. And um, I wanted to mention too that when I was cleaning up the glass, some of the haze came off. So that forced me to open it up. So I had to open it up, which actually looks pretty nice. You can go inside and look at the detail. So I may do that on the driver's side. I don't know. Well, I'll just leave it like that and just passenger side. But I opened it up due to necessity because this is what happened when I was cleaning it up. The haze. All right, so you see what it looks like without the decals. Um, the only thing is, if you build as an ambulance, these mounts, these stubs, you might be able to hide it by putting lights on top, which ambulance have, and sirens. But as a hearse, I don't know, you would have to, these are pretty thick plastic, so you might have to clean it up or maybe put like a luggage rack on top to use the mounts but just a beautiful looking body all right I'll be back um what the Ghostbusters version so it looks like just so you can get an idea accessory pack all right Alright guys, this is the Ecto-1A, it's completed, these um, panels which are supposed to simulate the LCD or LED signs are interchangeable with other messages, but I like the Ghostbusters. I also did not paint the fins in red like they're supposed to because I didn't want to accentuate the rear fins. I wanted it to naturally flow like the way Cadillac intended it to be in 1959 also I'm a minimalist so I left out a few of the decals like the large telephone number in the back I thought that was a little bit too much also the call us and the extra no ghost on the hood so I just left like the what I thought was important which is the ones on the door the warning stripes um, no curb size so no engine but the time you save in not putting assembling the engine you actually spend the same amount of time or even more on the tool packs on the top for the containment, storage containers, the proton packs, oxygen tanks, or whatever the fictitious items are. Um, I think the engine might have been even, um, you have to spend more time on the pack on the top because everyone sees it is right on top of the engine with the hood down or just at a certain angle, sometimes you don't get to see it. You don't have to spend so much time on the details, but did the best I could. Front strobe lights, New York plates. In the back, I use the clear lenses from the front seats, from the front, to make the license plate frame because of a diamond tread pattern. I think the stretcher in the back was a nice touch because you can see it from the outside along with the um, control panels over there. Love those 59 caddy lights. Undercarriage did the best I could to make it look like it was several pieces when it's not. It's just one simple piece, weathered and rusted. Typical AMT with two metal axles. Wheels do roll. Did the best I could to detail the interior. You can see the old PC screen from the outside. And that's pretty much it. I'll leave stills at the end as usual. Feel free to leave comments, questions. It was a pleasure to build. Alright guys, 
that's it for now. Thanks. <laughs>